Hi, this is Ben Fenio from Science Buddies, and this video will introduce you to our LED Dance Glove project, which will give you instructions on how to build a glove with built-in batteries and LEDs that lets you take really cool pictures by drawing shapes in midair using the lights if you take the photos in a dark room. In order to get started with this project, you're going to need to know a little bit about some electrical circuit basics, so we'll go over a brief review of that and then dive into the materials and the procedure to actually build the glove. So, if you're not familiar with circuit diagrams, please consult the written directions of this project for more details, but here we're going to go over the circuit you're going to build, starting with a battery, which provides electrical power to the circuit, which is then connected to a switch, which turns the circuit on or off and determines whether or not current is allowed to flow. This switch is then connected to four resistors that are wired in parallel. These resistors are important because they limit the amount of current that can flow from the battery and prevent the LEDs from burning out. Each one of these resistors is then individually connected to a light emitting diode or LED and then finally to close the circuit these LEDs are connected back to the negative terminal of the battery. Again if you are not familiar with circuit diagrams and these symbols do not make sense to you please consult the written directions of the project for more details. You can find the URL in the description for the video. Next we're going to go over the supplies you need to do this project. For a complete list of materials, please see the written directions where you'll find links to online vendors where you can buy all the parts. For starters, you're going to need a lightweight work or gardening glove, not a heavy leather glove or winter glove that will be difficult to sew to. You're going to need regular sewing thread along with a sewing needle, special conductive thread, and then the electronic components for the project are special LEDs designed to be used with e-textiles along with a battery holder, a coin cell battery, and a power switch. Note that you can also find battery holders with a built-in power switch, so you might not need to purchase that separately. And finally, fabric paint to cover up the traces of conductive thread when you're done. Now, these materials are what you will need to build the glove as shown in this project, but please keep in mind that if you want to use different materials, such as different number or color of LEDs or a different color glove or paint to give your glove its own customized appearance, you are certainly welcome to do so. Now before you start building, we recommend that you make a sketch of how the circuit is actually going to be laid out on your glove. For example, here you see a sketch showing four LEDs mounted on the fingertip of a glove with the battery and switch closer to the wrist and then wires connecting the positive side of that battery, which are shown in red, to the LEDs and then the dashed lines show a wire coming back around on the other side of the glove and then wrapping around the wrist to connect to the negative terminal of the battery. So you'll see that this doesn't look exactly like the circuit diagram, even though the LEDs are still wired in parallel like the circuit diagram we showed earlier. So remember, you're going to want to lay out the LEDs in parallel, but you need to figure out where your circuit traces are actually going to go on the surface of your glove so you can have a plan when you start building. Next, you'll want to start building your glove by sewing on the electronic components using regular non-conductive thread. If you don't have experience with sewing, you may want help from an adult who does. Make sure you connect the LEDs, the battery pack, and the switch in locations consistent with the drawing you made in the previous step. Next, you'll want to use conductive thread to start laying out your circuit. So here are several pictures showing a single circuit trace going from the positive terminal of the battery pack to the power switch, around to the front of the glove to one of the LEDs, and then back around the side of the glove to connect to the negative terminal on the battery pack. Remember that if you purchased a battery pack with a built-in power switch, you will not need to wire the switch separately. Now continue to follow the diagram that you made to lay out the rest of your circuit and finish all of the traces connecting your remaining LEDs, being sure to wire them in parallel. Remember that these LEDs contain built-in resistors, so you do not need to attach separate resistors. And finally, make sure that all of your connections between the conductive thread and the metal plates on each one of the boards for the LEDs, the battery pack, and the power switch are tight and have good physical contact. Otherwise, you will not have a good electrical connection and your LEDs will not light up. At this point, you should test your glove by putting the battery into the battery pack and then turning the power switch into the on position. Your LEDs should light up. If they do not, you should double check all of your conductive thread connections to make sure they are tight and have good physical contact with each one of the boards. And you can also double check that you did not put the battery in the battery pack backwards, in which case you can just reverse its position and try again. Finally, you can use fabric paint to insulate the conductive thread traces on the outside of your glove. Be sure to let them dry completely 
And then if possible, you can turn your glove inside out and insulate the traces on the inside, but only do this if you think you can do so without damaging your circuit or causing any of the components to come loose. So we hope this video has provided some inspiration to get you started building your own LED glove. Remember that you can click on the link to the written directions of the project, which will include step-by-step -step instructions, as well as a detailed materials list and some more background about circuits in the description for this video. And you can also find many more directions for do-it-yourself science and engineering projects at our website, www.sciencebuddies.org.